Alright, hey YouTube, Nate here with a video that is really weird to make. Um, for starters, a lot of you probably notice I've kind of been in a slum with videos. I haven't really been making them at all. Um, in all reality, just life has been crazy for just so many reasons and I kind of just decided to hold off on the YouTube for a while and concentrate on some other stuff and and it wasn't really that making these videos takes that much time it was just like I don't know just the last of my worries just I don't know I guess I just didn't find the motivation but motivation is here now so hopefully more videos will come um, and unfortunately it had to be something like this to give me motivation to come out of the slum but um, yesterday night last night um, the world got news of Steve Jobs death and honestly, I I knew this day would happen sometime, and I always wondered how I would react. And quite honestly, it's just it's just a weird feeling. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not happy about it. Um, but at the same time, I'm not you know I'm not crying my eyes out. I never knew him personally, but it's crazy to think about how like one person can have such a humongous effect on your life without ever really meeting him. And that sounds really stupid, I know, because Obviously, Apple would still be Apple without Steve Jobs. Well, not necessarily at all. That's a lie. But I mean, obviously, that one person wasn't responsible for the the whole company. He didn't personally come deliver my MacBook, and he wasn't responsible for every single thing that was put in it. But he did start the company, and he's been the CEO for a long time. And just every small thing that he's done for the company to just make it to where it is today is just incredible. Um, he, when he returned to Apple, when Apple was at its lowest of lows and became CEO again, like, the things he's done with that company since then is just insane, and Apple today is just getting bigger and better each day. Will Apple be the same without Steve Jobs? I think a lot of, a lot of people are wondering that, and, um, personally, I don't think Apple will be the same. But that's not to say that that's a bad thing. It's just going to be different. Different isn't always bad. Different is different. Um, obviously, there's really no way for us to know what Apple would have been like with Steve Jobs still alive. And granted, he wasn't CEO anymore upon his death. But had he been in good health, etc., to you know at least have some say in the company, it probably would have still been different. Um, obviously, Steve, as numerous places have reported, um, probably until about 2012, 2013, we're still going to be, see, be seeing the Apple that was directed by Steve Jobs, because obviously they had kind of a scope much broader than just to the iPhone 4S. They, but of course, a technology company, especially one like Apple, is going to be looking further and further into the future and just have a giant scope like that. So, obviously, Tim Cook's... not We're not going to see 100% Tim Cook's work for a while. Um, but once that time comes... Apple will be different, and that's a fact that we're all going to have to accept. Again, different's not bad, different is just different. And I wish the best of luck to Tim. Um, he has some pretty big shoes to fill. Um, but that doesn't mean that Apple's not going to be Apple anymore, obviously. Um, overall, I think the technology world obviously suffered a big loss upon Steve's death. He was one of the world's most important innovators, he looked at everything with such a different eye, and just the things he was able to do with Apple are just crazy. Um, and at the same time, like, I think a lot of people are reacting to this negatively almost, because it is Apple, and people who aren't fans of Apple are thinking that we're making such a big deal about Steve Jobs, but the fact of the matter is, even if it was Bill Gates who died, I would still be just as shocked and the would just be just as sad and just as important of a loss if, you know, Bill Gates died. But, you know, yeah. What I'm trying to say is Steve Jobs obviously wasn't the god of technology that, you know, everything mattered because of him, but he was very important. And honest, I can honestly say that, you know, the computing world would not be what it is right now. If Steve Jobs never entered it. And 
that's just kind of a fact. Um, he was a great businessman, a great thinker, and he's going to be missed. And this video is kind of just me rambling my thoughts. There wasn't really a format, but... And honestly, I didn't really even think about this video before I made it. So this is honestly all just been straight from here, straight from here, how I feel about this whole situation. And, um, yeah. Um, Steve Jobs will be missed. Personally, he was been a pretty huge impact on my life, one of my major heroes, um, just in the fact that he was able to do so much with so little, just starting in a garage with Steve Wozniak, and that's just, you know, like the American dream. Um, and yeah, if it wasn't for Apple, I probably wouldn't be a computer science major right now. Um, they got me really interested in computers, and once I got interested in computers, I got interested in programming, and that's kind of how that went. So, to Steve Jobs, thank you so much for everything you've done, and you're going to be missed.